If you're somewhat interested in filmmaking, you've probably heard of a Pro Mist or a Mist filter. It seems to be quite a common addition to many filmmakers' kit, but I think there's value in it for photographers. One of the biggest problems photographers face nowadays is standing out. With phone cameras getting better and better every year, it becomes increasingly difficult to make photos that stand out and pop amongst the crowd. I picked up this Tide Optics mist filter a few weeks ago and I think it can help with that issue of differentiation. A mist filter like this one blooms the highlights in your images and overall gives them quite a dreamy and heavenly feel. This can really help make your images look different from the masses and opens a wide range of opportunities for creative photos. Not only is it different, it's also not easy to replicate in post-processing. It's very time consuming and fairly complicated to replicate in Photoshop, which means it won't ever look as good as it does straight out of the camera. I'm gonna put up a few more photos that I've taken with a mist filter. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Now, is it for everyone? Absolutely not. It certainly adds quite the different look to your shots, but if that's what you're looking for, it could definitely be worth giving a go. Would I use it in every shot? Also, no. Its effectiveness will vary depending on the conditions and it has its time and place. It's down to us photographers who are using it to decide when it's necessary and when it's probably not. However, does it have its place in photography? I think so. For some scenarios, a mist filter can spice up an image, fill some negative space, or be the driving factor in your image. I would definitely recommend giving it a go. If you are interested in giving it a go, I've linked the most popular mist filters down in the description below at a variety of price points, so I'm sure you'll find one that fits you. That includes the Tide Optics filter that I've used for all the images I've shot in this video. That's all from me, but before you go, don't forget to give this video a like if you did enjoy it, and subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. I hope you all had a great week and I'll see you in the next one. However, this, I could actually have it in my hand, what am I on about?